Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nazi, and today I thought it'd be super fun to do the blindfold defeating tube challenge. So I tried a bunch of different times and did a bunch of different things and it still wouldn't work So this is what I came to this is pretty simple pretty easy. I'm pretty confident I think I can do it, but we'll just have to see so I have my my supplies set up in front of me Okay, so this is all the supplies that I have set up in front of me. I have my feed bag That is still in the wrapper. I have my pump and then I have water my formula and a syringe so I can flush and then a paper towel just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna get blindfolded and then we can start. Okay, so I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I can't see anything at all and it's a little bit intimidating because I've only had my tube for like three months or something like that, but I think I can do this. Okay, so first I'm gonna flush. I feel like my hair looks weird, but it's okay. So. This one's the water, and then I have my syringe, and I hope that's not all just air. Yeah, no, we're good. I'm gonna cap that because I'm scared I'm gonna spill something. Okay, it's sort of weird. Okay, so tube. And then I always use the same port on my line when I hook up feeds because this is the side that's more comfortable to hook around my ear. So flush that. I'm gonna leave that on so I don't like get anything in it. Okay, so next we're gonna do the feed bag. Oh no, don't put it over there. Okay. And I want to make sure that this is all untangled because it will be annoying later if it's not. Okay, we're good. And so I'm gonna put a full full bag of formula, which um, for, it's technically 500 milliliters, but Sometimes I'll put more just because it does actually hold more than that. But my formula is conveniently fit in this water bottle and it is 500 milliliters so I don't have to measure it out or anything like that. But I don't want to spill it. <sighs> Extra cautious. I don't want it to like... I hope it's going into the bag. Oh my goodness. Wait, is it going in? I'm so scared. Wait, what if it's not going in? Oh my gosh. I don't feel anything wet, so I think we're good. I think it's... I think we're good? Wait, it, there's more. I can't hear it anymore. Okay. That was scary. I think we're good though. Yay. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. And then this is so hard to... Wait, air. Okay. Okay, and then is that on all the way? I can't even tell. It's so hard to get on right. Okay. Yes, yes. Don't kink. Okay. So next, where's the pump? Oh, a water bottle fell. Okay, so next I have to load the cartridge into the pump because I cannot prime it manually without my vision because that's a little scary. I don't even, sometimes I'm so bad at it that it just doesn't even work for me. It's okay. I will learn the tricks eventually. Like I know how to do it, but it doesn't always work. Okay, so I'm gonna set this down, but it's still connected. Um, 
pressure on. And then it has to do its thing. Maybe if I hold it up here, yeah. And then prime is this is the middle one on the side next to the screen. So we're just gonna prime. And I did not take the cap off, so maybe I should have done that. Or maybe we'll just let it shoot. I'm gonna try to take it off. I'm gonna save that because it'll be the one I use to close the system before I throw it away tomorrow. Wait, where's the prime button? There we go. Alright. It's I can just feel it pumping out air right now. It's nowhere close. So, if you guys have any um, suggestions on other videos you want to see me do, or want to know more about one of my illnesses, or want me to do something else related to the tube, I don't know why it's beeping like that. Just leave a comment down below, because I'm like totally open to suggestions. I hope it's pumping, because if it's not, I'm going to be kind of sad. Oh, we're kinked. Oh, wait, I hope it hasn't been like... Has it been pumping this whole time? Who knows? Who knows? Well, you guys know. I have no, no clue. Are we good? We're good. Here we go. Maybe it'll be better this time. So yeah, if you have any video suggestions, you can totally leave a comment down below. So down for that. Um, yeah. So I've pretty much had this tube for three months now. Almost three months. And I'm not enjoying it at all. I don't know where it is. But I am grateful to have this tool because there's literally nothing else that I'm able to tolerate right now. So, I mean, I'm barely tolerating this. I'm like 25 points be below my feet, my, my goal rate or whatever right now because it's just causing so many GI symptoms. But, it is what it is. feel it, you know, okay, I'll, I'll wipe that on my pants, because I can't see the, you know what, we're just going to risk it, here we go, paper towel to the rescue, wow, that was really gross, and we'll disconnect this, do you know, I'm going to drop everything, that can drop, oh, it smells so bad, well, real nasty. And where's the pump? Here's the pump. And we're going to press run, just the bottom one. Hey, and we're running. Let's see how I did. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's formula all over the floor. It's fine. Mostly it got on me, let's be honest. There's a couple drops on the floor. But that was my attempt at the blindfolded feeding tube challenge. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was entertaining. I have to clean this mess up so that my room doesn't smell like formula because it smells like that enough already. But if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. You can leave a comment down below um, of what you want me, what other videos you want to see me do, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!